Welcome to another Z-Hut Arduino tutorial. Today we're going to look at how you use your Arduino board with an old infrared remote. This is an old DVD player remote, but a TV remote or anything you can come up with that's infrared should work. And we're going to use that to control a bipolar stepper motor. Now the infrared sensor I got here, which is right there, came out of an old DVD player. Now it couldn't find a schematic online or anything, but I was lucky on the printed circuit board. It had the VCC out and ground marked on the board, so I got lucky. And I also, from research, found out these usually run at about three volts. So that's what this resistor right here is for. I cut it down, it's just a little over three volts and it works fine. I found it under two volts, it wouldn't work at all. And I do believe if I put this up at four volts or higher, it would probably start on fire or short out and quit working. Now we also have for the actual control of the bipolar stepper motor is an H bridge. And I got that right here. And that's an L293D, and there are lots of other ones you can choose from. There's even several that have the same pin configuration as this. Uh, the circuit schematic for this, if uh, you look down below in the description, I'll have a link to my webpage that'll have the circuit uh, schematic on there, and you can uh, copy it and print it, or just look at it on there to build it. Well, that, why don't we uh, see how this works. So here's the infrared remote, and I programmed four buttons off this, and when we get to the code, I'll show you how you program the buttons. Let's, first, we'll push this one, and you see every time I push it, it moves one step, and you can see that I got black dots I put on the gears here, because this is a geared stepper. Then if I hold it down, I also have in the sketch so it'll keep turning. Then you go the other way, goes the other way. Then I figured why stop there? Just two buttons, one forward, one for back, but you're only going one click at a time. Let's make it move a little quicker and go a hundred steps at a time. Push that one, goes a hundred steps forward. This one, hundred steps backwards. And if you hold the button down, it'll keep going. And then you can go back to just the single steps. And I also programmed it so when you push any of the other buttons, nothing happens. And when we get to the code, I'll explain why I mentioned that. Because if there's one little line in the code, and if I pushed one of these buttons, the stepper would start turning. As you can see, I got these four programs. You could program other buttons, like you got the number buttons, you know, maybe you could program these, you know, 10 steps, 20 steps, 30 steps, 40, whatever you want to do. And then um, when we get to the sketch here in just a moment, I will show you exactly on there how to program that so that you can, you can do that. All right, um, what else with the circuit here? Not a whole lot. Um, this capacitor here, I do recommend putting in. Uh, it kind of helps stabilize things with the IR receiver. And uh, other than that, I think uh, we'll go ahead and jump over to the code. So we see you there in just a second. All right, let's take a look at the code. Um, well, actually, before we start, I guess you'll need the code. Um, just go in the, the link in the description below to the website, and um, you'll find the code there. You can just copy it, paste it right into your Arduino IDE. And then also on the website, um, and actually I'll put it, uh, a link directly to the, this library below too. You're going to need the IR remote library. And it's a quick uh, download, and there's complete instructions on uh, their website on how to install it. It's really easy. So we've got uh, 
the IR remote library included. Then uh, next is the receiver pin. And uh, the way I have it set up in the schematic is they're using pin 5, and that's what goes to your IR detector, the output. And then this stuff here just starts it up. And this is um, right here is what it'll be called. Your results will be called. It's just results. You can change that to anything. Just remember, if you do that down in the code, where, let me see, oops, where you got the serial print, you, if you change results, you'll have to change it here. And anywhere results was, you'll have to change that. So, okay, move on here. Where was it right here? Then also you're going to need to include the stepper library, and that's already included in your Arduino IDE. You don't have to download it. Then we have an integer here, and it's, uh, I just put DIR short for direction. Now what this does is it keeps track of what direction and how many steps the stepper took, and that will come in to play here in just a minute. I'll show you what that's used for. So then we get to the, the setup, and you got the my stepper, stepper speed, and 60 worked pretty good with my stepper. I ran it up to 100, and it worked mostly. Once in a great while, it'd glitch a little. But uh, you'll have to play around, but I found 60 works on just about all steppers without a problem. Then we got the serial begin, of course, get the serial monitor. We're going to be using that. Um... And this starts the receiver. So then we go down to the void loop. And we got here, what this if does is it just keeps the program from doing anything until an IR signal is detected. It just skips over all the code down to the bottom, back to the top, and doesn't do anything until a code is de it detected. The next we got the serial print line, and what that's used for is for mapping your uh, your infrared remote. We'll be doing that in just a moment, and it prints the code out over here in your serial monitor. So the next what we have is the ifs and the else ifs, and what these do is when when the uh, IR is detected, it goes and looks for these numbers here. And if one of those buttons was pushed, which will generate that number, it does that statement, then stops, goes back to the top, and does it again. And that's where this comes in. This first one here is if the results are the this number, the stepper will step plus one. But if you hold down the button, and every button on the remote gives the same code, after the first initial code, if you hold it down, gives the same code. So that's why we got the AND in the direction. Up here it's at the direction to plus one. So here if it's plus one and you're holding it down it'll step the stepper plus one again and continuously. Same thing here if it's negative it sets the direction to negative one. And then if you hold the button down, again, there's the negative one, and it steps negative one, and so on, so on. Next set here is the to step it to 100. And uh, I didn't have this in the video. This, um, I was working on it between shooting the first part of this video, and now when I added a plus thousand step, and I was playing around with it, so... You can remove that or change these steps. You can, as long as you change these numbers to the plus and minus, make them the same. And then remember to change your direction number too. And then change that and your direction for the and in the, in the else if statement. Not too complicated. Not too complicated. Just go ahead and play with it and you should figure it out. And then this delay here, that's just to stabilize it. If you run it without a delay, at least run a delay of one. Uh, if you run zero, it does glitch a little bit here and there. What we're going to do now, I'm going to grab the remote, and I'm just going to push a button on it real quick. And there you see the code came up. 
I pushed the button again and I held it down just a little too long so that other number showed up. So I'll push it again. Now I'll push it and I hold it. And it keeps making that same number. So let's, I'm going to pick a different key on the remote. I'll push it. You get a different number. And then I hold that down and it repeats the repeat number. And you just keep playing with the buttons and that's how you map them out. Just figure out what buttons you want to use, push them, record the number or copy and paste it right out of the uh, serial monitor. That's what I usually do. Now, oh, before I forget, there's one more thing in the code here. The last statement is the else. The direction is set to zero. Now, that comes in as you see when you hold the button down you get this number right here well say I was holding down one of the other ones that's programmed in and then I went and pushed a button that wasn't programmed in it would continue after the it wouldn't recognize the first push but it would recognize it was being held down and it would continue to do whatever the last last button you did it would make it continue to to turn the stepper so that's what this else is because once one of these is triggered, it stops and goes back to the beginning. So if it goes through all of them and nothing's detected that's ma a match, it goes ahead and sets the direction to zero. That way none of them will activate. Well, I hope that made sense to you. Um, can't really think of anything else to add. Um, just like I said before, this code and the circuit schematic, everything is in the link below to my website. And um, this, the IR remote uh, library, I'll put a link in the description below here of the video. And also I'll have a link for that on the website as well. So, thanks for uh, joining us today here at the Z-Hut. And I do help this, hope, <laughs> hope this was helpful. And uh, have a good day.